Hey dolls! So I have kind of a long video for you guys, so get comfortable. I am going to be doing a full in-depth planner review of both of these planners right here. Um, yes, I do have two. Um, the company did send me two of them to do a review for you guys. And that is because they are actually two different styles. And I want you guys to be able to see the different options that you have when ordering from this site. So this is a Shelly Deanne. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But it is a Shelly Deanne lifestyle planner. And like I said, there are two of them. They are coiled. And the awesome thing with her planners is you can have a colored coil or a basic silver coil. There are so many options that you can have with these and I love it. I mean, come on, look at how like thick these are. These are very similar to um, an Erin Condren. So if you have ever owned one of those, you're going to see a lot of similarities in the fact that yes, it's coiled and there's colored tabs and each month is kind of like coordinated with certain, uh, with a certain color scheme of some sort. Uh, but yes, there are um, four different styles of planners, and I'll get into what those are. But the amazing thing with her planners is you can have um, different covers as well. I wasn't aware that she had so many other covers to choose from, and she kind of just sent me these two on, you know, just a whim or whatever, just because I was doing a review, and it was just an initial review. It wasn't necessarily like a custom planner or anything like that. And she was so kind enough to tell me that once I made this review, she would be more than happy to send me another planner that was with a pink coil and a pink cover um, because as you guys know I am obsessed with pink so I, I wanted to have something that was you know custom to myself and then I can give these away as gifts or what I see fit um, because these are 2016 planners both of these are Um, so yes, uh, I guess let's go ahead and get into it. I will show you guys this one first because it is pretty much my favorite. Um, this is what the cover looks like this on this one. Like I said, you can get a different coil color, you can get a different um, cover, and then the back corresponds with it as well. Like the inside, let me see, the inside of the back kind of corresponds with the cover itself. They are very, very thin. I don't feel like it's going to rip or tear. And the awesome thing with these is boom, 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 they are interchangeable. So if I want, I could put the cover that is on this planner over here on this one. So I think that is awesome. So opening the planner up on the very first page, what you see is this little family page and there's a little section for pictures and this is where you can put your family tree of that year which I think is really cute you know if you have a new niece or a nephew or um, a, a grandson or um, a daughter or whatever you can just put the little pictures in the little family tree um, to kind of represent what that year consisted of as in new family members and everything so I think that that is a really cute little feature. So turning the page, we have a cute little quote here. It says, be your own kind of beautiful, which I absolutely love that with little butterflies. They're so colorful. And then we have just um, monthly overviews of the whole year. So this is like your 2016 yearly view. This particular um, planner uh, came with a few additional months. So it came with October, November, and December of 2015. And then it goes into 2016. On the website, you can choose to add months or only have 12 months. You can pretty much have it start on whatever month you want, I'm pretty sure. So uh, definitely check into that because you can have additional months and not just have only one complete year. You can have like four or five extra months or something like that. Now, the two style of planners that I have, there is All Dressed Up and there is Casual. All Dressed Up is where it has all of the artwork. Um, there's beautiful colors, there's artwork, there are um, like patterns and such on all the little tab dividers, uh, things like that. It's all dressed up, it's already pretty much designed for you so you don't have to do too much work. Whereas the Casual, which I will show you next, which is the other planner, um, you will see that it's mainly just the colors. It's not necessarily the artwork and things like that. So um, that will give you a lot more artistic freedom if you enjoy decorating your planner all crazy with washi tape and stickers like I do. 
So this is the October tab for 2015. Uh, on both planners, when you open it up, uh, it has just lines for notes. And then it has the monthly view right here, nice and big. I will go ahead and show you guys right now. This is my personal Kiki K. So you can see kind of the size comparison of this. I'll go ahead and open it up to a um, week so you guys can see the difference here. So just comparing it, you can see like the page size difference is crazy. So you definitely have a lot more room to work with and write and decorate and what have you. Um, so yes, here, and I love how all of the holidays are already labeled on here. That is amazing. It helps so much. Um, and I love how these little boxes are kind of decorative with the little pumpkins and everything. So there is um, the monthly view of October. And then this particular planner is a vertical layout and the other one is a horizontal layout. You guys have seen my Kiki K. I just showed it to you guys. It's, it's um, a horizontal layout, so it has the days going this way. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try the vertical layout, so we'll see how that goes. But um, on these, on the weeks, I love how included is a make a memory last forever. So right here you can make it as simple as just journaling about what happened that week that you want to remember or you can go to extremes and scrapbook and start putting in little Polaroid photos and decorating it up and going all crazy with it and just keeping this whole book entirely as a memory of what you did each day. That is one thing that I also love about planners is you don't necessarily have to use them for scheduling when you have to go to work or scheduling a conference or scheduling a phone call or scheduling when you have to film YouTube videos. Just in each little slot, write down fun things that happened that day and then later on you can keep it as a journal and look back and see what happened on those days. So right here, like I said, it's perfect for just jotting down a random event that happened or drawing something that maybe had something to do with that event. Um, if you're very skilled at artwork, that could be awesome. You could also just cover this thing in stickers and pictures and whatever you want. Um, I also love how it has the monthly view up here, so if I kind of need to know what a day, what um, day of the week a day is on, I can check there. Uh, one thing that I will mention about these uh, planners is they are a Monday start, so um, it does go Monday through Sunday, which I don't, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Monday start, but I adapt to it, so it's not that big of a deal for me personally. I guess it's just pretty much personal preference. So I love that it has a little checklist, so things that you have to get done that week, as well as your bills that need to be paid for that week. I love that there's little to-do sections here at the bottom, and then you can kind of break these up into sections. Whatever accommodates your lifestyle, make it your own. So here I could do um, like a little YouTube section, and then I could just do like a random section and have just like whatever else things I need to do that day. So um, as you can see, the first is on Thursday, so it's started over here. And then moving on to the next, um, then it, the whole week is on a full spread. Um, and then we have the Monday through Sunday. So you guys can kind of see the whole spread just like that. Again, this is the all dressed up. So it has the decorative little artwork across the top and things like that. I'm not going to go through every single month. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what the weeks look like. Then in November's divider, this is what it looks like. Got very beautiful leaves. We have some of that uh, stripey notebook style paper for notes and such. And then we have November, as well as this adorable little divider card that says month. So like you can tag what month you are in so it's easier to access or find. So again, that's just what November looks like. Um, you can see Veterans Day is labeled, Thanksgiving is labeled. I love that so much. Um, and then of, of course there's a note section over here with some cute little artwork. And then on this page, this is really cool. I love that they did this because Thanksgiving is a bigger holiday. It's going to be more eventful. You're probably going to go see family. I love that they made a full page for your memories and for things that you want to remember or journal about or what have you. So, and then we have a Sunday start over here. So as you can see, it starts on Sunday and then it goes to Monday and then goes to Sunday. So that is November. And then I'll just skip ahead. This is December, again with the, the lines. And this is December's view. So there's a little snowman up here in the corner. I'm not gonna go through every single month, like I said, because 
they're all different and it will take a little bit of a while. So turning the first page, there is a little bit of a section for memories and whatnot. And then it starts, you know, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then to Sunday. And there's a cute little snowman waving. And I love the little snowmen that are on the tops as well. So again, this one's kind of like pre-decorated. You don't necessarily have to do so much. So if you are someone who is into planning, but you don't necessarily have the time to be excessive with the washi tape and stickers, and you don't see the point in necessarily sitting down and being totally creative with it, you just want something that you can write down your daily tasks in, this is a great option because it's pretty much already decorated, you have some pretty colors to look at, and you don't have to worry about decorating yourself. So moving on to January of 2016, um, this is a little today marker, so it's just like the month one, but it's on today, so you can put that in the week, um, the week spread, so you know exactly where that's at, and you can turn to it easily. So there is January's, and you guys pretty much get the concept of these, so I'm just going to skip through. This is February's. It's obviously my, my favorite little divider with all the little hearts. And then we have, this is February's layout. I love April's layout because of the pretty little flowers. Um, I love this note section over here. I think this is so pretty, and I ultimately love, love, love the layout, the weekly layout, like with the little flowers up top. I think it might be my favorite. So um, that one's definitely very pretty, but you can see how each month has a um, color scheme unique to itself. And then we have December, and I think December might be one of my favorite spreads in here along with April because, or my favorite style, color schemes, whatever. I just love this pine cone page and I love the month. I don't know what it is. Usually you guys know me. I love pastels. I love pinks. I love like just really girly colors, but this is just so like pretty. I don't know what it is. It's got like the little pine trees and then the pine cones and then we have the uh, make a memory right here and then they have the little pine cones along the tops of the days right there and I just love 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 that. So there are all the months in that one. And then an option that you have on the website is having this awesome double-sided pocket where you can put in um, stickers and different things like that. You know, if you want to have stickers in there or loose paperwork or if you have a homework assignment or whatever it may be. Maybe you have a bill that's due and you want to slip it in there and drop it by the post office on your way to work. Whatever it may be, um, you can select different designs for these. Um, they have like four or five different selections on the website and you can pick which one you want included in your planner. In here were these little stickers. Uh, these ones are so cute. There's little donuts and popcorns so you can like schedule movie dates and then there's a little coffee cup for maybe a conference or something. Here's day off so that's like a rest day. There's vacation, anniversary. These are doctor appointments and then these are like dentist appointments or orthodontist appointments. Um, and then there's like little gas ones so you remember to get gas. Super cute. And then this one is a full page of birthday stickers. So you can write down family members, birthdays, friends, birthdays, celebrity birthdays, whatever you want. And these are just blank labels. I'm not really sure if you can see these. Oh, there you kind of can. But they're just little uh, labels. So you can pretty much write whatever you want on them. This is where I would write YouTube on some of these and like make them in the boxes like I told you before. Just kind of breaking up the sections. And then, of course, these are the ones that I'm going to use the most because I just said how I love pastels and girly colors so much. So, uh, again, they're just blank and you can write your own little whatever you want on them. They don't necessarily have to be title headers. They can be, um, you know, doctor appointment reminders or just pretty much whatever you want. And I actually got four sheets of these. Two are pink and two are gold. But these just kind of came in the package. So I decided to uh, slip two of them in this planner and two of them in the other planner. But they're just these really pretty foil stickers. This one says, it's the glitter that matters. I love that one. Paris is always a good idea. Let's get this party started and be your own kind of beautiful. These two I absolutely love. And these are the same thing, only they are... Um, pink foil and these ones are gold foil so you can see the difference in the light there. 
And then this planner and the other one are different in a way because you can have add-ons. Um, you can add a, a note section, you can add a to-do list section, you can add other sections to your planner, and you're going to find those under the add-on section. They might not necessarily come with the stock planner, so you definitely want to look at that. But some of your options are the notes. I believe this comes in all of the planners but it has the pretty little shell logo right here and these are just blank pages there are quite a few pages that are just completely blank and when i was first going through this i was kind of sad because i wish they were lined because when i take notes in my planner i don't know what it is i just preferably like the lines a lot of people just can just jot down something wherever but i like to write on lines it makes me feel a lot more organized so when i kept turning the pages and i kept turning the pages and then i saw this. So there is a section that is blank and then there's a section that is lined with these super cute little owls here in the corner. So it accommodates both lifestyles of people who like to write on blank pages and then people who like to write on the ruled or lined pages. So I thought that was super, super, super like thought worthy, <laughs> like very, it's, it's very thoughtful. Like they put a lot of thought into that and they consider everyone when they make these planners and I love that. So now we have the to-do section, which is awesome. I love this. I love this so much. I believe this is one of the add-ons, but there's just to-do list at the top and then there's little bullet points. These are also awesome for like shopping lists and things like that. So you can just take your planner with you to the grocery store, have your shopping list written out right there. If this isn't long enough, you can simply just use the note page or something. So I do love that. And then at the very end of this one, we have phone calls which is where you can track um, different contacts like phone names, numbers, descriptions, things like that. And I think it's cute with this up here because you can kind of like write A through M or whatever and then have like A through M on these pages or whatever you want to put right here you can. So um, yeah, that is the end of this planner. Again, this is the vertical all dressed up version. So it's the one that already comes with the artwork and everything like that. So moving on to the next one, I'm not gonna go too crazy into depth with this because it's pretty much the same concept. Um, the cover on this one is different. It is Paris themed and it is so cute. Here's the back so I can show you. Um, again, the back kind of goes with the front, um, as I said before. So there's that. This, this one just has a silver coil. And here are the tabs on this one. They're all colorful and whatnot. Um, this planner starts uh, with January of 2016. So this one does not have any additional months. So again, same concept. It's got the family tree at the beginning. And then it has the, the quote. And then the monthly view. And then we go right into... Um, January and with this one this is the casual um, planner so you're not gonna have all of the artwork on all of the dividers and you're not gonna necessarily have the little snowmen in the corners um, on January and December and things like that because this one is based more just around the uh, colors so you'll see I think that the months are the same the months have kind of like the same artwork and things like that, but the weeks don't. So that's where it's going to be a little bit different. So here is one of those little dividers right here. This one is Paris themed. It says Paris is always a good idea. And then it says month, just like the other one that you saw. Again, you can take these out, place them in the given month that it actually is. So it's easier to find like a little bookmark. Again, they're labeled New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, etc. So here's an example of a week spread of this one. So again, this is a casual one. They also have the horizontal in the all dressed up. So it has all of the artwork and everything on there, but it's this way instead of up and down. So you can see there's a big space right here for your memories, bills to pay, notes. It has the January um, a monthly view right there. And then it has notes at the top. And then it starts with uh, Friday to start off with for January for that specific um, month and then it has to-do sections over here so you can see it's a little bit different but they're pretty much the same color scheme for both planners Monday through Sunday and then the to-dos are on the sides bills and notes are at the top so as you can see it's a little bit different the other one was more like this 
So this one is more like this. This one I'm more familiar with because my Kiki K, like I said, it is horizontal. So I'm used to that. But as you can see, it doesn't have all of the crazy snowmen or artwork or anything like that uh, or crazy patterns. It's just the basic colors. So you can go in there with your washi tape and go crazy with it, um, which I really, really, really love and appreciate. The month layout is pretty much identical on both of the planners that I've seen. Um, they have the little border around the notes section, but then when you get into the week, it's just kind of more basic. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but here is April again. So you can see it is pretty much the exact same monthly layout, but when you go to the week, I'll go to a full week here, you can see it's totally different because it doesn't have the little flowers that are along the top and just various things like that. You'll see quite a few differences. Here is the little today um, bookmark. Just looks like that. Just like the month one, but it says today. And you can get these cute little bookmark dividers um, to correspond with whatever cover you get off of the site, which I love. Um, there's December again. Remember how I loved the uh, pine cones along the top of the week? This one is completely different. There are no pine cones whatsoever. So, like I said, that just gives you guys an idea. Then here is another option for the little folders. I told you guys that they come in many different designs. So here is this one right here. I love this one. I actually prefer this one over the other one, but um, it's really pretty. And then again, the exact same stickers are in here that were in the other one. So there's no point of me going through all of those again. And then after that, we have the notes section. So we have all of these beautiful blank pages for you to doodle to your heart's content. Or we also have the lined ones if you prefer to write on ruled paper like I do. Now this is also, I believe this is another add-on, but I love, love, love this. For those of you out there who are crazy about journaling or keeping photos or scrapbooking or anything like that, I love this. It is a scrapbook section and literally all it is is a page of like four or five, a section I should say, not a page, uh, of, of four or five of these little laminated um, page protectors and you can store letters in here, you can store cards, if it's your birthday you can put, tuck your little cards back there so you don't lose them, you can store photos, you can put whatever and then this little sheet protector will help it stay good and new and just cherish it forever and so I love that little section. It's like when you have a wallet and they have those little um, picture insert thing like the little I don't know they look kind of like this but they're like super small so you can put them in your wallet um so you can put little pictures in there of like grandchildren or your brother or your sister or your boyfriend or girlfriend or you know whoever whatever your dog um and I love that because this is just like an oversized version of that so you can have pictures of your loved ones with you all the time when you're planning and whatnot so I love that. This is especially awesome if you are going away to college. You can have pictures of your family or your house or whatever and just have them tucked away. When you are going through and marking off your assignments and things, you can kind of just flip to the back and have like a remembrance of home and your loved ones and stuff. So I really love that. Or especially if you're away from home on a business trip or something or just at work for the day and you just want to see a picture of your dog or your daughter or whoever, you can just flip to that. And then the last section we have on here, I love so much, so much, so much. This is a checklist section. And again, I believe this is an add-on, but here's what it looks like. Uh, it leaves this nice little label up here so you can title this whatever you want. I would probably just put um, bills right here. And this is where I could actually keep track of all my bills in one place. For example, I would write the name of the bill that needs due right here. So I would write like internet, and then I would write January, February, March, April, May, June, July, etc. right here. And then right in this little box underneath of it, I would put paid and then paid and then paid or late, late. And then like next to it, I could put like whatever the fee is, if it's late or something like that. 
thank goodness I haven't had a late fee on any bills or anything like that. Even at the top right here, you could write like what the bill is and like the due date and then put the month and then paid and whatnot. So I love that. You can also just use this as a grocery checklist in a way. Um, you can also use this to keep track of expenses. Um, this page is like so versatile. You can pretty much do anything with it. And I really, really love that. And so there's just a few pages of that as well. So that finishes up that planner. And like I said before, this is the horizontal. I'll go ahead and open this up so you guys can see a side-by-side -side view. So this one is the vertical all dressed up and this is the horizontal casual. So this one's already pre-decorated in a way for making it easy for you if you don't have time in your busy life. And then this one is for if you want to go crazy with stickers and washi tape and things like that. So um, that definitely gives you an idea of both of those. Again, horizontal or vertical, the choice is up to you. You can select between the two. And there is also the um, vertical casual. So it doesn't have all the artwork and stuff. So it's like this one, but the boxes are like this. And then there's also this one that is all decked out that has all the crazy artwork and things like that. So um, it's definitely your choice. There are four options and I hope that's not confusing for you guys. I know it's a lot to take in, but I did want to give like a full in-depth review of these planners because I feel like they really deserve it. Now, one thing I want to talk about is pricing because there are add-ons. It might tack a little bit onto the price, but the most amazing thing is that if you live in the United States, they are based in Canada, so your United States dollar goes a lot farther because Canadian money is usually like higher, if that makes sense, like it's a higher currency. So when you're checking out with uh, US dollars, you can use a conversion website or what have you if you live in the US. Um, so you end up not paying the actual price that's on the website because the prices that are on their website are in Canadian dollars. So please pay attention to that. If you see that something is $70 on the website, chances are when you go to check out, you're actually only going to be paying $50. So um, keep that in mind. That is awesome. So for all of my United States followers and subscribers out there, you guys have an advantage to that. Um, as far as pricing goes, I kind of calculated things out and if you were to get um, a planner like either of these, it is about equivalent if not cheaper than an Erin Condren. And I'm not sure if I have coupon codes, but if I do, I will definitely link them or post them in the description box below. So I apologize for this kind of being a different audio or voiceover, but I did mention at the very beginning uh, something to do with you guys being able to get $50 off of your purchase at ShellyDeanne.com on a planner or accessories or whatever of your choosing. It's a $50 coupon to use on that website. Um, I'm not sure if that's in Canadian dollars or US dollars, but either way, you're getting money off, so that is totally awesome. So I think I have about 10 of those coupon codes to give away. So what I'm going to do is if you are seriously interested in the coupon codes and you're probably going to make a purchase on Shelly Deanne, um, definitely uh, check the description box below because I'm going to post a link to a giveaway page and it is going to be a raffle copter giveaway. Very, very simple. All you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel. That's it. That's the only rule. It's open internationally. They ship internationally. So um, yeah, there's no other rules other than that, other than you may be, you, you don't even technically have to be over the age of 18 because I don't need your address, but you will obviously have to fill in your address and everything when ordering from uh, ShellyDeanne.com. So um, yes, uh, click the link in the description box, the very first one, and it will take you to the page. All you have to do is prove that you're a subscriber of mine. And in about a week, I will put the actual date down in the description box as well, as well as all the fun details that have to do with the giveaway. Um, but yes, I will pick 10 winners. They will actually be randomly generated via the computer through Rafflecopter. So I'm technically not picking the winners, but 10 winners will be chosen and you will each have $50 coupons to use on Shelly Deanne. So if that is something you are interested in, um, keep in mind that just because you get the $50 coupon doesn't mean that um, it'll be 100% free because you may want certain add-ons and just keep 
keep in mind that it is more of a coupon code rather than an actual free item. Um, but in a way, you can get some free items with the coupon code, if that makes any sense. I hope that's not co too confusing. I will put the details in the description. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to give you guys a shot at getting some of these planners because I know you guys like to plan a lot, and I am definitely kind of obsessed with these. So like I said before, I believe it is Shelly Deanne. I could be pronouncing that totally wrong, but you can get these at ShellyDeanne.com. The link will be in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and go ahead and leave me a fun comment down below telling me which style of planner you would prefer. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!